Hello, bro chicas. I was planning on doing a spa day video, um, like a nighttime routine. And I don't know why I'm just like not motivated to film that right now. But what I do wanna do is give myself a pedicure and a manicure, like a legit real one. And I wanted to use some Dollar Tree products. I wanna like test them out and see how they work. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. So hopefully I don't disappoint anybody. But I just gotta do what feels authentic to me. And I don't know, this just feels like what I feel like doing today. So I really wanna try this out. Like I don't wanna wait anymore. And I honestly, like the reason why I don't wanna do the spa video too is because I wanted to take a bath and use the bubble bath bar and bath bomb and bath salts and all that stuff. But I can't take a bath right now because I'm on my period. So I really want a pedicure and I don't wanna wait. So I'm gonna do a petty and a mani, and I'm thinking maybe this can be like a quarantine transformation video. Uh, tomorrow I should be getting my vanity mirror, so I'll be able to do my makeup there and show clips of it and all that. Let's just make this a quarantine transformation video, like a 24 hour one. So I am going to use this foot mask from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this petty foot file from Dollar Tree and I will be painting my toenails white. I'm gonna go back to white. I really love white nail polish on my toes and I am gonna put some press on nails on. Press on nails on. <laughs> and I think I'm just ready. I think I'm just ready to have some nails on. I'm ready to just feel like, you know what I'm saying? You know the vibe. So these are the Sinful Color Claws and they are medium length and an oval shape and I love how they're like a pink translucent color with a little bit of silver glitter. And I've been wanting to wear those for a long time but I've been wanting to save them because I'm like nothing's going on, why am I gonna wear them now? It's like such a waste but whatever. Let's just do it and if I like them I can always go and get some more. So I will show some clips of me giving myself a little mani petty. Don't expect much. I'm dressed in just like blah clothes. So I just look blah. That's why it's a quarantine transformation. All right, bro chica so i am going to leave these foot masks on for an hour i have my timer set on my watch 
and I wish they were hot though. That's what I love about the paraffin wax is that it's hot. Maybe I should buy my own like paraffin wax system at home. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm just gonna lay on my bed and uh, watch some TV while these hopefully make my feet nice and soft. I feel like I should tape them closed though so they can really like soak it in. Um, but so far so good pushed my cuticles back and soaking my feet with those bath salts felt so good like i already feel like my feet are softer from that petty foot file and hopefully this just makes it even better oh also something i realized on the back like when i was reading the directions is it said that in about a week the dried skin and calluses will peel off of my feet so that's kind of scary it's a little bit scary i didn't know this was that gonna be that deal but it says do not do this more than once a month all right y'all so my timer just went off i've had these uh feet socks on for an hour it said leave it for an hour to 90 minutes um but i'm just like already over having them on right now so i'm gonna take them off i'm gonna take them off and then it says to um wash your feet afterwards so i'm just gonna wash my feet in the tub once again i'm not gonna put another clip because you don't need to just see my feet that much, you know what I'm saying? Because they they don't look good right now. But of course, I'll show you the end result. Ooh, girl. My feet feel like a baby's butt right now. Dang. I'm really happy with those. I'm afraid of it peeling. I'm afraid of my feet peeling. Sorry, I'm like, I'm afraid of my feet peeling in a week. But they feel really soft right now so i am very happy about that purchase very very happy that is awesome so now i'm ready to paint my toes i always paint my toes before i do my nails um but i did cut my nails because when i put press-ons i like to make sure i cut them as short as possible and i pushed my cuticles back so i'm gonna go ahead and paint my toes and then we'll put the nails on all right, so I just finished with all of my nail stuff. Here is how they look. I think it's pretty cool. So they're like a clear translucent pink. Um, I usually don't go for like the rounded oval shape, but I think they look cool and I'm glad that they're not like too long. The thing with having like, whether it's like a coffin, no, not a coffin, a, um, a stiletto or an oval it is easier to like grab things i feel like squares make it hard to grab but i think it's pretty cute it's not like too out there because like it's like oh you just have a little bit of pink but then you look up close and they're actually like long i have white nail polish on me and they have a little bit of glitter on those two there's glitter on all of them but there's like a lot on these accent nails I think they look I they look pretty cute they look like summery you know and then also finished my toes I just need a clear coat on them but I like to wait a good while because if not they always get messed up because there's too much nail polish drying at one time good morning bro chicas it is a couple days later because before I filmed the portion where I did my makeup and hair I wanted to have my vanity set up so it's official, vanity is all set up. I have my new mirror with my lights. So what do y'all think of the lights? This is the cool tone. And then I also have the warm tone, which is interesting. I know a lot of people have been doing like a sunset glam. Maybe that's something I can do eventually. But yeah, we're just gonna get back into this um, quarantine transformation. So far I have showered, washed my face, and I put on this Shea Moisture uh, matcha green tea with probiotics color correcting moisturizer with milk thistle and this is for redness and acne prone skin um, so I have two little surprise pimples that came during the night this is my periods way of saying um, hey one last present for you before I go <laughs> that's what always happens to me and so I had a little bit of redness and this just helps like neutralize it just a little bit Obviously, it's not going to be like completely one skin tone, but I do like to use this. It, the only thing about it, I would say, is it's very thick and I wish it was like a little bit more smooth. So yeah, this is the brand Shea Moisture and I got this from Target a while ago. So I love anything matcha. I love matcha. 
I'm just, if it has matcha, like give it to me. Also, I'm gonna put this eye cream on by Bolero. I got at Dollar Tree and this is the Jasmine Orange Blossom Eye Cream. I wouldn't say that this is like the best eye cream I've ever used, but it does the job for like hydration purposes. Um, but it's not like an amazing like, oh my gosh, you need to buy this. This is like the greatest thing. It's definitely not that, but it does hydrate. It does feel smooth on the, under the eyes. And I haven't had any bad reactions under my eyes from it. So if you do need like a quick little hydrating cream for under your eyes, you could definitely get that because it's a dollar. Um, I think I like more jelly uh, gel type uh, under the eye moisturizers or serums are my favorite but yeah that's what I have right now so that's what I'm gonna use and we're gonna do our makeup today I think I want to use hmm I kind of want to use my Estee Lauder and I haven't used it in a long time but I have a little bit left in this bottle and this is the bottle that I mixed like a lot of colors in when I worked at Estee Lauder at the time. So this is supposed to be 2W2 Rattan, but I know that I mixed a lot of 3W1, which is tawny. And that's because I was getting tanner and I am, I'm pretty tan right now. I would say I'm pretty tan. My face is definitely lighter than my arms. Um, so I'm gonna, probably make a little concoction that's what i like to do i don't really like to wear the double wear by itself anymore because it's hella full coverage and thick so i like what i have found in my experience is that the maybelline matte fit me matte and poreless fit me oh my gosh um mixes really well with this formula that's my opinion i've done it hundreds of times before it also makes your expensive foundation last a little longer. And I love this Maybelline Fit Me. It just spreads over the face so nicely. So it is a little bit darker. This is the shade 320 Natural Tan. Okay, so we're all blended in. I think it matches well. Yes. Good, good, good. Um, also, I'm sorry that the fan is on. I really hope that's not bothering you, but it gets a little hot in here when you have lights on you. And I did, I just realized that there's like a pile of clothes over there, so sorry. You know, I still got a lot to do in my house and I tried to make it a little bit nicer in the background, but I gotta fix that little area over there. Now we're gonna go into concealer. I'm going to use this e.l.f. concealer that I picked up at Dollar Tree. This is the shade Light Beige, and I'm actually gonna use this on my eyelids. One of you guys suggested for me to use it as that, and the other day I did try it as a straight-on concealer, and it wasn't my favorite formula for that, but since I don't need like insane coverage on my eyelids, I feel like, you know, let's try it out here. So thank you for that suggestion. Not bad, not bad. It does cancel out some of the eyelid veinage that I have going on. And I wanna set that before I continue on. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. I think I'll probably keep using it for that. So let's conceal the under eyes. And what I've been using lately is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I used to love these and they're so affordable. I believe you can get them on Ulta.com and I feel like they sell them maybe in Target. It's, yeah, it's probably Target. Um, but I know for sure you can get them on Ulta.com and I used to love these, they are so affordable, and I forgot how good they were, but you guys remember I told you that I'm not really doing freelance makeup right now, so I just took apart my whole makeup case and I started using it for myself so that I don't have to go out and shop for more makeup. I just, yeah, I just started using it for myself. And also, like, you know, makeup has an expiration date, so I wouldn't wanna use this on clients anyways because I've had it in my kit for so long. I feel like I should just get use out of it so it doesn't go to waste. So that's what I've been doing. And I'm mixing the two shades, Natural, which is the lighter one, 
and this is the shade Na medium beige, <laughs> which is a little bit too dark for me. Whatever's left over on my sponge from the concealer, I'll usually just tap it on the top of my nose and in between my brows. And then right here on my Cupid's bow. I used to put a lot of concealer everywhere, but I just feel like there's no need for it, especially when you're using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set. I'm using the Kylie Translucent Loose Powder. I like to use this for my under eyes. I really love this powder and I'm running out, you guys. I got this from Ulta, by the way, and I need to get more because this does not oxidize, which I appreciate so much. You would be surprised with how many translucent powders oxidize and you think you're gonna have a bright under eye and then you don't because the powder oxidized and got darker, which I do not like. And I don't bake, I just kinda set it. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me um, loose powder in light medium and then I'll be right back. So I just bronze toured is what I like to call it because I don't really precisely contour and bronze in separate steps. So I just call it bronze tour where I use a bronzer in contour like areas to contour my face. Um, I used this LA Girl blush collection in Glow. I love this so much, you guys. I've been using it like ever since I got it. By the way, I got this for free. Somebody was giving a, giving it away and I sanitized it, don't you worry. But these are still available to buy. I saw one in my grocery store. I don't know if um, Ulta will have it, but I know that they're still out for sale and they're like $4 for this whole palette. And it's honestly amazing. So I use this contour powder. This is like my tan shade contour bronzer powder. And then I like to mix the two of these blushes. It gives for a very like sun-kissed, natural, like, you know, look going on like almost a sunburn but not really a sunburn so now i'm going to use the la colors highlight oh also i used my dollar tree blush brush maybe you guys can find this at dollar tree nowadays i'm not sure i got this a while back but i did see some eyeshadow brushes with this like unicorn color but this is a blush brush and I'm gonna use the LA Colors highlight that I just recently bought from Dollar Tree and this is the shade Shine Bright. And you guys, this is a bright, um, this is very bright. This is very, very intense. I'm just gonna spray myself first with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Oh, it's running out so it squirted on me weird. If your setting spray ever like squirts out in big chunks just take your blender and go over it um so yeah highlighting brush is just by elf and we're gonna carefully put this gold champagne -y highlight on it is intense you guys for a dollar it's seriously insane i don't want to go too ham on highlight i've been really taking it down a notch and just putting it like right here Look at, look at that. So instead of going across the whole cheek like I used to do, I really just like it right here at the tops of the apples of my cheeks. Woo, it's bright. It is bright. This is honestly the in most intense highlight that I have which is like crazy and then I'm going to put it on my nose by the way I started putting blush on my nose and I love it so I just put that at the tip and then I'll take my finger and put a little bit on the bridge right here I'm not going to connect it just a little bit right here I think I got chunky right there 
it's just so intense. You have to be very careful when you apply this. Okay, just a little bit right in the middle there. And then I'm gonna take a really small brush. This is just from Eco Tools. I think it's technically a lip brush, but I've had it for like a decade. And I'm gonna put some in the inner corner. Today's look is just gonna be like that effortless baddie look, you know? Like, we're not gonna go heavy on eyeshadow. We're not gonna do anything crazy. It's just like a, wow, how gorgeous, very natural, but not, nat not natural, I guess. I don't know what to call it. I'm gonna put some lip oil on from LA Colors, the Dollar Tree one that I got. This is watermelon. My lips are just really dry, so I'm gonna put some of this on. I love this so much. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. I love it so much. You need to buy it. If, if you come across it, buy it. This is what the packaging looks like. I haven't opened my strawberry one yet. Next is going to be eyebrows, and I'm just going to speed through this, but I will tell you the product I'm using is gonna be the LA Colors Brow Cream Gel. You guys, this is a good product. Oh my gosh, this is such a good pro Honestly, well, everything I'm using is good. Um, but I would say like if you buy anything, it would be this in the highlight. You don't have to buy anything because they ain't paying me to talk about them, but I'm just saying that this eyebrow uh, pomade is so good. I love it so much. I love it so much. Um, they do have a uh, brush in Dollar Tree that you can use with this. I didn't buy it because it didn't look very good in my personal opinion. Um, I'm picky about what I use for my eyebrows, but you know, you could try it out. Let me know if you like it. Anywho's, I have mine in the shade medium brown. I'm gonna do my brows and then I'll be back. Brows are done and I'm just gonna set them really quickly with this e.l.f. clear brow gel and mascara. Honestly, I use both sides for my brows. It's almost like they're the same formula, so. This is like two bucks and it works. And I've been using it for like ever, like for so long. I need to trim this brow hair over here. Okay, so for eyeshadow, we're really not gonna do anything crazy. I think I'm just gonna grab, hmm, I really don't want much going on. So I'm just gonna use the Modern Renaissance palette because it's been a while since I reached for this and I just wanna, I wanna reunite with her. So I think I'm gonna mix Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange, as you can see, two of my favorite colors, just for like a warm little crease moment. I really don't, I really don't enjoy doing like crazy eyeshadow stuff, like you guys know. I prefer face, brows, lashes, and lips. That's where it's at for me. That's what I think is so beautiful, is a perfect face base, brows, lashes, and lips. And this is a uh, Wet n Wild fluffy eyeshadow brush or crease brush, blender brush, which I believe you can find this in Dollar Tree. I think they have this in there actually. I think that's where I got mine. And you can get the contour brush that I used also. I used this one, this one they have at Dollar Tree. This isn't like a whole Dollar Tree based video, but I definitely wanted to like let you guys know since you guys have been loving my Dollar Tree videos that I really do use a lot of my Dollar Tree products on a daily basis. Like I really, really do. Like I don't just buy things just to be buying them and to film videos about it. Like I really use them every single day. And um, I will let you know when I don't like something. Like I will tell you something that like if I bought it and it wasn't worth a dollar, like I will tell you. I haven't used this bad boy in a long time, if I can get it out. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Um, so I barely reach for this, but it's so pretty. This is the shade Enchantress, and it's like a light pink glittery color. And I like the way this looks when you put it on your lid, just like a little bit. Wipe off the excess though, cause this stuff, I mean, it's packed. It's pigmented, it's there. 
So I'm just gonna put a little bit, I need a mirror, a little bit on the lid. So we just have a little glistening, glistening beautiful area over here. And then I'm just gonna tap the side so it blends in. Like we don't want this to be perfect or cut crease. We just want it to be very like subtle. Like she's wet. She's a mermaid. She's a mermaid that just came out of the ocean. She's just glistening a little bit, you know? Did I really just use my left hand? That's crazy. Just, it's so cute. So I think it was Elf that just came out with like kind of like dupes of these and I really want to try them. I haven't got my hands on them yet because I haven't really been makeup shopping, but I really want to try them. Because I got this, I think I got it at Marshall's for like seven bucks, but these are like 20 bucks original price. Like, you know, I was not about to pay that, but I really wanted to try it. So just try not to like look up and you gotta like let this dry. You gotta and let And the it most dry. exciting part now is the lashes. I'm so excited to see how these perform, how they feel. Um, I didn't put any wing liner or anything because I really wanna see how these look without too much going on in the eyes. But this is Ioni lashes. They're 3D faux mink lashes. And this is the style wispy cat eye. So I got a couple pairs, but this is the one that I really wanna try. I love PC lashes like that, how it's like thick and then thin. That is my favorite and I always go with cat eye because I think that it just complements the shape of my eye the best. I love the pack. First of all, like the packaging of those is so amazing. I can't even believe they came from Dollar Tree. Like what in the heck? All right, so I'm just gonna put some glue on these and I'm gonna apply them and then I'll be right Before back. Before I put on the next one, look at the difference. Bruh, how come I ain't got no natural lashes? All right, so this is the best I could get them because they're a little, I mean, they're not like undoable, but they're a little bit harder to apply than the invisible bands that I'm used to. And I know a lot of people wear the ones with like black little bands like this. So it's really just me because I'm just not good at it. And I just don't tend to buy lashes with the thick bands like that. I just feel like this side is a little bit wonkier, but I can't tell. I don't know. It looks really, really good. They look very high quality, guys. Like, they really do look like mink lashes. Like, they look very furry. They look like real hair. Like, I think that this is very good for a dollar. I definitely would get more. If I, you know, if I go to Dollar Tree and I see more, I'll definitely get more because they look really, really cute. Also, I put a tiny bit of brown eyeliner on this uh, pimple here and then, like, dabbed it so it could kind of look like a beauty mark if you haven't tried doing that try it and now we're gonna put some lip on i don't think i'm gonna do anything else to the eyes so we're gonna go ahead and put a lip on i don't really know what i want to use probably just a neutral because that's me i like nude lips i really really do i'm gonna use this nyx lip liner pencil in natural it's just like it says a natural lip liner because i've been loving it lately it's like my perfect nude all right and lastly we're gonna top it off i think i want to use this wet and wild liquid catsuit high shine lipstick in the shade send nudes I love these. I just love a glossy lip. Super cute. Oh my gosh, I love, I just love a nude lip. Love, okay, we are done. This is the face. Now we're gonna go do our hair. I don't know what I wanna do. I don't know if I wanna curl it. I don't know if I wanna have it straight. This is stuck. I don't know what I wanna do. I wish I could ask you guys right now, but. I still don't know. 
know guys i honestly don't know <laughs> i did not have a plan for my hair um i'm just gonna plug in my straightener and i'm just gonna like straighten it first and then see where i go from there um somebody asked me what kind of straightener i use and i don't know what the model is of this but it is by remington and here's what it looks like i got it from ulta it's got like champagne uh ceramic little plates and it's purple and it came with a purple traveling case i just don't know what it's called so i'm sorry i'm gonna do this in portions so that it can actually come out nice because normally i don't like to spend a lot of time on my hair but this is a transformation so we gotta be like you know we gotta be on top and we gotta be super cute so i'm gonna wait for this to heat up let's drink guys I found a gray hair <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it do you see it right there that's a gray hair oh my gosh oh that is so weird to see I guess like I've never maybe I had them before but I would never know because I'm always dying my hair and this is the first time that like I haven't been dying my hair consistently since my natural color is this you know i need a color refresh i just don't really know what direction to go into you know like should i keep it warm tone brown or should i keep it or make it cool tone brown please let me know y'all's opinion in the comments because i don't know what undertones i want with my hair like i just really don't all right y'all so i just got dressed i'm gonna show you in my mirror what i'm wearing this is my ultimate quarantine and chill outfit. This is like the outfit that I like to wear when I really wanna feel super cute, like I'm dressed up, but not feel like I'm dressed up because this is so comfortable and I really like the way it fits on my body. You guys may have seen it in a vlog before. I wore this dress with a different crop top. It was gray with like black stripes. And today I'm wearing it with this little white crop top that I got from Pretty Little Thing a little while ago. It's a very short crop top, so I just don't like wearing it with pants or shorts, but I think little crop tops, crop tops look super cute with a little slip dress. So this is just a regular slip dress, and it's black, and I love the length of it and oh my gosh i think it's so cute and so simple and comfortable so i have my beautiful nails done which automatically make you feel like a bad bee you know when you have your nails done you just feel super extra fierce and i put some silver hoops on which I probably won't wear all day long, but you know, if you wanna take some cute pictures for Instagram or Snapchat or make a couple TikToks, it definitely finishes off the outfit. And then of course my white toenails, which I just feel like white toenails look so cute and clean. I love, especially with a tan, I love it. And you guys, in this outfit, I love my body. I and love yourself, girl, love yourself. But I am loving myself. I love the straight hair. I feel great. I definitely want to like take some pictures and be cute. If you had an errand to run, you could put on some white little comfy sneakers. That's what I would do. And I just love my body in this. And like, you know, we got a pouch, but that's okay. Like we're so cute regardless. Now, if I was going to do a lot of walking with the chafing, what I would do is put boob tape. I have this boob tape from hi -Oh. I've talked about them before. And what I'll do is just take two little squares and I'll actually tape them on my inner thighs right here. If I was ever gonna like go out in this and walk a lot so that I wouldn't chafe. So if your thighs touch, you can use boob tape to help you with uh, not chafing down there. So that's a little hack for you thick girls. You know, you can use boob tape in so many different ways, but 
I love this. And once thrift stores are back open, you guys, you can find, you can easily find a little slip dress for a few dollars from the lingerie, lingerie section. This was like very popular last spring and summer, I believe, but I'm not gonna wear shoes or anything cause I'm just staying in the house today, but this is my finished look, my quarantine transformation. And I feel so, so cute. And that's what it's all about, is feeling good about yourself. Also, underneath your dress, you wanna wear something comfortable. Thongs are not comfortable, cheeksters are not comfortable, to me anyways, and if they are to you, girl, I don't know how you do it. But I am wearing the Victoria's Secret Pink's Seamless Boy Shorts, and this is my first time trying them. I got them in an extra large, and I'm really glad I did. I love the way that they fit, and it's completely seamless under this dress, but I'm so comfortable because they're boy shorts. I am in love, so I'm definitely gonna have to get more of these. I'm really glad I treated myself to these underwear. I know for me personally, a lot of my confidence and you know good vibes come from like going out and being social and getting dressed up and showing off for my husband, you know, doing my hair, doing my makeup. I absolutely love getting dressed up to go out, and a lot of my confidence comes from that and self-esteem is really lifted by that. So by being stuck inside and not being able to really get out there and be social or even have family over, you can't even have family over, you can't even have friends over. Because of all of that, you know, it's hard to remember that you're a bad B, but you are. And sometimes you just have to get yourself made up and dressed up, not because you're beautiful only with makeup, it's not because of that, it's because of how it makes you feel. So if you don't normally wear makeup anyways, then of course you don't have to do this. Do something that makes you feel beautiful and that makes you remember that you are bomb, you are worth everything, and that you love yourself. Sometimes we have to remember and remind ourselves that we love ourselves. It is just like a relationship with your husband or your wife or your partner, whatever relationships take work and loving yourself is a relationship with yourself and it takes work to keep it up you can't just forget about yourself you can't just not treat yourself you can't just not pamper yourself you do have to upkeep that relationship with yourself so that you can have a healthy mentality and that's where all my confidence comes from is that i always remember to treat myself i always remember to know, you know, do my hair, get dressed up, put some makeup on. Not every day, definitely not. Even shopping, shopping for things that I can pamper myself with, you know, shopping for makeup, shopping for skincare, shopping for healthy foods even. Healthy foods, healthy drinks makes me feel good, makes me feel good about myself, gives me the confidence and the self-esteem that I want and that I need. Every person needs that. So I really hope that this brightened your day a little bit and I hope that I'm sending a good message to you guys if you're ever feeling down in this lonely isolation time you know spend some me time have like lock yourself in your room and tell your kids or tell your partner or you know even if you're alone just say hey like I need some me time I know I'm not going anywhere I know it's technically a waste of makeup but it's really not I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pamper myself, I'm gonna go to the nines, I'm gonna take some pictures, and I'm gonna remember who the F I am, okay? Cause like, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, sweetheart. And sometimes I forget that I'm beautiful too, and I have to remind myself, and that is not a conceited thing, that is a self-love thing. Self-love takes a lot of work, and it takes a lot of effort. You have to put the effort in to love yourself. You can't just be confident just cause. I know people say, oh, how are you so confident? How are you this, how are you that? Um, because I make myself be, because this is my body, this is my life. I am very blessed, I'm very happy. Remind yourself of that. So anyways, I'm going on a tangent. I hope that makes sense to you guys. You know, I'm always here trying to uplift you, trying to keep you positive during this time. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, thank you for your continued support. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.